Okay, y'all, well, we are 11 weeks in with 11 weeks left to go. So I figured now would be a good time to stop and reflect on how things have been so far, how things are feeling right now, and what I anticipate things being like going forward. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Ah, oh, yes, it is the halfway point of prep. 11 weeks down, 11 weeks to go. So take a little time with me here today as I reflect on what's happened so far, do a little self-evaluation on where things sit right now, and then a little bit of prognostication and prediction on where I think things are going. So I am Darren Starr, a full-time coach at fivestarphysique.com, host of the Drop Set podcast and many other things as well. You can check out all of my offerings at fivestarphysique.com, read about everything that I do there if you're interested. Uh, Thanks for joining me here. If you've been watching these all along, you kind of know the format. I'm shaking it up just a little bit today, trying some new things and cutting out some stuff that we didn't need uh, to try and get to the point a little bit quicker. So let's do it, shall we? Um, I'm getting ready for Battle at the River at Ch in Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's on June 8th. And um, I, I haven't said this yet, but I'll say it now. Um, if by some miracle of who the hell knows what happens, I get a top two finish, then my plan is to do the national show in Chattanooga two weeks after that. Um, Cause it's close, it's like, why not? Um, if I do qualify, um, that national show comes around, um, I will get my ass kicked there, kinda okay with that, just go and see what happens. So um, that's the plan as of right now. There's an entire possibility that I don't make the top five, in which case, uh, cool. Prep's over at that point. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, let's see. What I want to do here is um, start off with, you know, I had one section that was just irregularities and typically like I don't have any irregularities. So we're just going to skip that section and cut it out entirely. The assumption is I'm on plan 100% of the time. And if I'm not, I'll tell you. Um, I did have this week, I also had another free toe a single Frito. That makes two Fritos for the prep um, that I've had. And that's been the sum total of everything that I've had off plan, except for my birthday meal, which, you know, we talked about that weeks ago is steak and potato salad, kind of a macro match kind of thing. Not a big deal. So it wasn't even really a cheat meal. Um, let's talk about changes that were implemented this past week. So macros are unchanged. I don't off the top of my head know what they are because I have them plugged into my fitness pal. All I know is like meal one, I measure out 300 grams of Greek yogurt, meal two, I either measure out, or I'm sorry, for, for meal one still, I either measure out 100 grams of oats if it's a leg day, 60 grams if it's an upper body day, and zero grams, and do three rice cakes instead if it's a rest day. And just, so whatever the macros add up to, I don't know, they'll be on screen over here is where things will show up. So I'll put those there. It's a three phase carb cycle. So higher carbs on leg days, um, moderate carbs on uh, upper body days, and then lower carbs, which still are okay-ish on rest days. So uh, one thing that did change this week was I, uh, I talked with Sam, who's my trainer at Club Four where I go, and I meet with her three days a week. Um, uh, cause I don't have a coach. I'm coaching myself. I still want a little bit of input and feedback. She's not coaching me, but it's just somebody else to bounce ideas off of. And she's good there to kind of yell at me and make sure that I'm, I'm not leaving too many reps on the table, which I find helpful. Um, so in talking with her though, I was kind of analyzing cause the split as it was, and I'll put that on screen over here as well. Um, it was starting with Mondays. It was a quad focus day. Tuesday was a rest day. Wednesday is back. Thursday was shoulders and biceps. Friday was a glute ham focused leg day. Saturday was a rest day. And then Sunday was chest and triceps, um, which recently I'd kind of shifted that to being more chest and arms and then taking the biceps away from shoulder day. Um, and so in looking at my physique and where we're at right here, and we'll get to the photos shortly, um, I realized like I really need some upper trap work or mid, mid trap work for the upper back. Um, and I just, I was doing more lats on back day. So I added a second back day. So the new lineup is here. Um, and that is still quads, still a rest day on Tuesday, still back day. No changes here so far. Um, Thursday is now chest and shoulders together. Friday is still the same glute ham workout. Saturday is a rest day. And now Sunday is a second back day focusing on mid traps along with some arm supersets thrown in there as well. So a little bit more productive use of the time without adding a training day. Um, we'll talk about why that wasn't a consideration coming up here shortly. So um, those are the changes for this week. No macro changes, but we did implement some training changes for sure. 
On to the weekly numbers here. So throwing up the tracker, I feel like Vanna White over here. Um, you can see all the numbers that we have here. I'm looking at them on screen as well. So, uh, you know, another good week. You know, we started the week, um, the 12-week the out update, we ended that week averaging 229.3. This week it's 227.1. You can already see with two weigh-ins here, um, the average for next week is already down 2.3 pounds. So if that trend continues, we're gonna be just fine. Um, I am not any more worried about the scale and making weight. You can see like the, the rate of loss has been pretty good. Um, the expected rate of loss per week is now down to 1.58 pounds per week. If I can hit that, I have 15 pounds to go in, well, 18 pounds to go realistically here if we're talking about this week's update. In 11 weeks, um, it's gonna be fine. I'm not worried about that. Uh, other things for the week though, and you can see like, again, not really the most linear approach in the world. It was 229, then a drop, then a drop, then a spike back up, and then it stays there for a few days, and then a big drop, and then up a little bit, and then another drop, and then up a little bit. So that's pretty normal. Um, it really is. So you're gonna see if you look at your weigh-ins like this, you're gonna look at that, and you're gonna be able to correlate that largely with how you feel. Like for me, and this is where it's, it gets to be TMI, but you're here, you're along for the ride, right? It's all about like how constipated and backed up and how regular you are. That's the biggest variable here just because my meal timing and the timing of everything that I do is just super consistent from day to day. Every day, it's like Groundhog's Day. It's just this, 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 this. It's super robotic. And some days the GI is just moving, moving smoothly and other days it's just not. And that has more to do with like systemic stress than everything else. I don't feel particularly stressed, but your body's pretty sensitive to those things. And honestly, I, there are random elements in play here as well. So, you know, I don't feel constipated at all. Um, I just, you know, I can tell that some days like, eh, all right, you know, mm, I'm feeling a little heavy today, right? So it's not a big deal. It's not anything I'm worried about, but that doesn't count for most of the fluctuation that you see here. Um, and that's what keeps it from being kind of more of a linear process. You can see cardio is super, super stable. I did cut short my cardio by 15 minutes. Um, that was yesterday. Um, I was zonked. So that was my first back and arms day with the new training split here. I did the back exercises. That was okay. Um, by the time arms came around, like I was feeling it. And then I did some posing in the room um, at Armor Gym, um, which I recorded and we'll see some of that up here in a second. Um, I gave myself a seven and a half for the workout. I might've been kind of generous. The back stuff is what I really needed. Um, I'm pairing the arms with that just because arms, similar to chest and shoulders, those are the strengths. So we pair those together, kind of like we talked about in constructing training splits um, a couple of weeks ago. So, uh, and I just, I was on the treadmill I go to Armour specifically because there's good lighting on Sundays to record um, a posing video um, in the little room that they have. Um, I absolutely hate that gym. Otherwise, it's just so fucking loud. It's like it's run by frat boys and it's just metalcore screamo blasting as loud as you can possibly imagine. Like I've got my headphones on, I'm trying to listen to stuff while I'm doing cardio and I can't hear it because the music is so loud over my headphones. Like. Oh my God, I hate it. And they just will not change it. They will not change it. So um, I may just stop going there or set the building on fire. One of the two, I'm not sure which yet. Don't come at me. That was a joke. Maybe. Uh, today was good. I mean, I did, I did legs today. That was with Sam. Um, I gave myself a six. My knee was acting up a little bit. So I had to pull back on the one squat um, movement pattern that we have in there. It just didn't feel particularly strong. We pulled back on weight. That weight still felt heavy. So I'm just thinking with these two days back to back, it's like eh, maybe a little bit of fatigue creeping in. We're going to talk about that shortly here. Overall, as far as the numbers and the nuts and bolts for the week though, there's really nothing I can complain about here. So when I started the random shit I hear section, I was really hoping I'd have more interesting stuff to throw in here, but sadly I don't. I'm gonna keep it in just because sometimes it's gonna happen. And I also know from previous preps, like the leaner you get, the freakier you look, the more people start to say stuff. Um, like generally when I'm just walking around, I don't even really look like a bodybuilder. So <laughs> I, get, I get zero comments on a typical day. Now I'm starting to get more, which, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a superficial guy, I don't mind the attention. I don't like having the conversations with people, that's awkward, um, but you know, it, it feels good to get a little bit of an ego boost, right? So generally, just there's random people here and there that are coming up and saying good things. Um, there was one guy in the gym, I was doing chest, actually had a pretty good pump, and was actually like, I'm, I'm, 
I'm not one to toot my own horn, right? Was kind of looking a little freaky, just a little bit, just like the earliest signs of it. And being that that was at around 11 weeks out, I'm like, I'll take you know a freaky day here and there at 11 weeks out, because that's early for me to start bringing that. So that's a good sign. Uh, things were looking good, and he's like, man, how much volume do you do for chest? I'm like, three exercises per week, three sets per exercise. He's like, are you kidding? And you look like that. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's how much I'm doing now. And I said, the correct question, is what have I done for most of my life? Which is to say more than that, although not much more. So, um, you know, chest, chest is a strength for me. I mean, I feel less and less like that as the, as the weeks go by. <laughs> I've typically thought of it as a strength. And then the more I watch my videos and posing stuff, I'm like, eh, maybe not so much. I don't know, compared to other things, maybe. Um, but I thought that was kind of funny. Like, you no, know, typically I will do much more volume than that. But uh, right now it's all about conserving energy, putting the work where it's most needed. And honestly, like chest, throw minimum volume at that. Shoulders, throw minimum volume at those. Arms, they're not super fatiguing, but you don't need to throw a ton of volume at those. I don't, just because, again, they're strengths. All right, instead of just doing one section all on the qualitative stuff, we're gonna break it down. So we're gonna start with how things feel. This is a little bit more interesting this week, I think. Um, appetite um, is hanging in there. I am definitely uh, hungrier all the time. Um, I am not struggling as far as like discipline though. I'm not like, oh my God, I really, I'm like, no, I'm hungry, but I'm focused and I don't really care all that much. I'm keeping very busy. Um, I am incredibly deep into um, creating an online course that I've been working on for some time. And I'm really, really getting deep into scripting and outlining that course. I'm just about ready to start shooting video for it. Um, I have video that I shot in the gym last year where I brought some people in and recorded them doing movements. And I have a whole bunch of those. I need to edit that into about 110 exercise demo videos. So like I'm busy and I always tell people like the preps that are hard are the ones where you're not busy as shit. I'm busy as shit. So I have so much to do, it's ridiculous. Um, and so that helps a lot. Like I don't have time to stop and think about how hungry I am. So uh, it's kind of nice. <laughs> um, energy is, it's been okay. It's kind of tanked a little bit um, the last few days here. Um, I took like a, on, what was it, Saturday night, I wanted to lay down just for a quick nap before, before dinner, which is unusual for me, but I was just really feeling it. And three hours later, I realized I'd slept through till nine o'clock and I'm like, oh crap, I gotta get up, I gotta eat, I gotta feed the dogs, etc. oh crap. And um, did that and then I'm like, great, now I'm not gonna sleep. Well, I went back to bed and I slept all the way through till 6 a.m. So that was unusual. I took a nap um, yesterday afternoon, felt super refreshed after that. Today's workout, not the greatest, um, but I'm gonna attribute that more to the knee and just the, the quad also feels kind of bruised in a spot almost, which is weird. So a um, little off, a little off, but not too bad. A training performance overall has still been pretty good. The last couple of days, notwithstanding, like Sunday, you know, the arm section of that workout felt a little tanked. Today was off. Other than that, it's been great. So there's no, nothing really that I have to complain about that. I think big picture, it's still doing okay and we're still hanging in there. Now, how things look, um, again, I, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, when I edit this video, I'm recording it now, when I edit it, it will be the first time I've looked at these. Um, just because I really struggle to see the changes and I find myself really hard to look at. And this is the biggest benefit for me in having a coach because they have to look at my pictures, not me. Um, like I really struggle to see changes and um, notice those comparisons in myself. I do it for my clients all day long. When it's me, it's a different story. It's just, it's hard to be objective. I talk about that a lot. That's going to get more difficult as the days go on. So honestly, when I edit this every week, that's when I really kind of spend the most time analyzing things. So uh, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. <laughs> um, what I can notice though is just day to day, um, yeah, I'm just noticing things a little bit differently. Here's a weird thing. And so the, you get inside my brain here a little bit and uh, probably learn more than you want to, but you know, it's YouTube, you know, it's the internet. It's not like anybody watches this. So we'll just throw it all out there. Why not? Right? So like all um, sophisticated people, I sleep naked. And so if I get up in the middle of the night and go pee, which I usually do, um, I walk into the bathroom and there's a couple of lights in there. There's the big bright overhead one that's like, oh God, turn it off. But there's another one that's just like a soft light. It's like the light that's built into the fan that kind of hangs over. We have a water closet in this bathroom. And so it's just enough light to where you can kind of um, see where you're going and know that you're not tripping on a dog or a pile of clothes or something like that. So I'll flip that on. And then as I'm leaving, 
um, there's a mirror on the opposite wall and it's just like the perfect light to catch like, oh wow, okay, this kind of looks flattering right here. So honestly, that 3 a.m. bathroom, dimly lit, quick little 10 second body check is where I get most of my information from. <laughs> Because I'll be like, man, okay, my, my quad separation is really popping right now. Okay, cool. All right, nice. You know, it's kind of flattering light. And so you can kind of get a glimpse of like where things are heading, I think, when the light's a little bit more flattering. So um, there you go. Slightly embarrassing, but you know, here's the thing. If we're being honest, we all do shit like that. Right? We do, right? I hope so. Anyway, videos are here. Um, one of them is uh, fasted Sunday morning. The other one is just a few hours later post-workout in the Armor Gym posing room here. So let's take a look at the quick breakdown here. Like what has happened so far in prep and how have things gone? Honestly, it's been 11 weeks, um, which is five weeks less than a previous total prep for me. So at this point, typically I would be about two thirds of the way there and about two thirds of the way in is usually when I wanna die. Um, and it has more to do with the duration of anything. But again, I'm doing a lot of stuff differently now. I'm keeping my calories higher because I don't have a weekly cheat meal at all. I haven't had an actual, honest to goodness, cheat meal the entire prep. I probably won't. Um, there may be a possibility of a, a refeed coming up here, but we're going to hold off on that for right now. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think it's necessary just yet. Uh, but so far, I mean, we're down. You know, we started um, the, the first week, um, the average for that first week uh, at 22 weeks out was 246.2 pounds. As of right now, we're 227.1, so that's 19.1 pounds down. It's pretty good for 11 weeks. I'll take that. Considering that training performance has been good, I don't really feel like there's been any appreciable muscle loss. It's certainly, you know, it's not zero, but it's very low, right? I don't feel, feel like I'm pushing it that much of a deficit to where I feel like we're sacrificing a lot of lean tissue or anything like that. So I want to try and avoid having to push any further than this. Um, how I've felt so far, I feel like it's been easy. Um, I feel like, yes, I'm doing a lot of cardio, but it's fairly low intensity. It's more demanding on my schedule and calendar than anything else, but I'm organized enough to where I know I can handle that. So I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, how I feel right now, right now, like in the immediate, like these last couple of days, I'm a little nervous just because of the, the trailing gym performance the past couple of days only, and just energy being a little shot, et cetera. I think I might just be overextending myself on the work side of things with the extra stuff that I'm doing. So, um, I feel like it'll be okay. I'm a little apprehensive right now. Um, looking forward, I'm pretty optimistic just because I don't, I mean, you never can predict these things, but I don't feel like a hard plateau is coming or anything like that. And if there is, I know I have room to move. Like I can always just remove my high days. Um, I can pull down some additional dietary fats. I have some um, tools in my back pocket. Like I can get rid of the afternoon protein shake and replace that with a solid food meal. That'd be about the same macros, but much more filling. So there's lots of tricks that I can do. And I'm, I'm going to leave those tricks until I need them. So right now, I feel like, yeah, I'm in prep. I'm a little tired, but it's not bad. So 11 weeks left to go is a long time though. So this can still change quite a bit. Um, but the, the biggest concern that I have, I think, is just, you know, I'm chasing this weight cap of 209. With each passing day, I become more and more um, certain that that's just not gonna be lean enough. Not gonna be lean enough. We're, you know, we got this 16, 17 pounds left to go. Um, if I drop 16, 17 pounds of body fat, I'll be pretty lean, but I'm not gonna be competitive stage lean. So um, I'm, I'm realistically thinking I probably need to chase something closer to like 204, 205, and even then we might be pushing it. Again, time will tell, but right now um, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm on pace. Like I could back off a little bit and still hit that cap in time. No, I'm gonna need to chase under that cap, so I'm keeping my, my foot on the, uh, on the gas pedal for right now. I'm not comfortable backing off. Until, if I get to the point where it's like 215, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty happy with how things look here. Then I might back off a little bit. Um, I would be shocked if that happens though. I get to 215, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I got at least another 10 or 12 pounds to go probably. So um, even though it's only six away from the cap, I just know I'm gonna to need to get leaner than that probably. So it's speculation for right now, but that's the game that I'm playing. So um, at the halfway point, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, you know, where I've been, where I'm at, and what I'm thinking about going forward. Next steps for this week, I think is going to be pretty easy. We're just going to continue to rock on with the uh, training update from last week. I don't anticipate any macro changes. Um, I think, you know, the, the rate of loss is coming along fine. It doesn't look like it's slowing down or anything like that. Um, I just need to watch fatigue, make sure I'm not like, you know, crushing myself or anything like that. But I don't see any of the need for any changes here. This next week is pretty easy. 
Yep, I've been a bachelor for the past couple of days. Am today, will be tomorrow. I pick up my wife from the airport tomorrow evening. Tomorrow's a busy day because I have that. I have to take the dogs to the vet. They're both going under anesthesia for dental cleaning and then I gotta pick them up in the afternoon. So there's a lot of running around. It's a non-training day, which is why I scheduled it for that day. Um, so realistically, as far as like potential interruptions or anything in prep, I don't think there's anything on the social calendar. Like it should be a pretty easy, boring week. Okay, Q&A, we got a couple here. This one is from uh, Carol Ann Mobley. I think this was a comment, uh, this is from last week. I think this was a comment about me walking around the neighborhood and smelling somebody grilling out back. And she said, you can't have a grilled lean beef burger. What are your sources of protein other than whey? Um, and, and my response to her was like, no, I, I could. I could probably work that in. I just don't want to do the hassle that's involved with the math and making it work. I would. It's just easier to complain about it and, and then just do without. Um, rather than be like, okay, let me figure out the macronutrient kung fu necessary to pull this off. And oh God, I'm just, I'm too tired to do that crap. I don't have enough time. Like, uh, if I, if it really gets to the point where it's like, oh my God, I need that or I'm going to commit a homicide. Like, yeah, I'll do it. But uh, it's right now it's just that thing where it's like, man, that smells good. I want that. Okay, I'm fine. Never mind. So all good there. My sources of protein have not changed um, from when I did the meal breakdown. So meal one, still Greek yogurt. Meal two is a fair life ready to drink protein shake, 42 grams. Meal three is deli turkey on a sandwich. Meal four is an animal way protein shake. And then meal five is 93.7 ground turkey. Pretty easy peasy. Um, no Notice, no chicken in there. Might bring some in, but for now, I haven't had it at all for prep. Um, Allison Cervantes, I think I'm saying that right. Allie, I know where's Allie. So, <laughs> um, talking about specific pieces of cardio equipment, um, we mentioned that last week in the intro, like that one piece of cardio equipment that you'll get in a fight over. Like, I still have that one piece, yeah. Um, I like being against the wall because then I feel protected on one side because clearly, like, cardio, uh, that's when people come to attack you, I guess. And so I feel more protected if I'm closed off on one side. Um, she said she likes a stair mill, not in front of the TVs. And it reminded me like at the, um, at the gym where I'm going now, um, they don't have TVs in the cardio equipment. They do have it in the lifting area, which I find annoying as shit. I hate it. It's like sports center and then music videos. Um, and it's like, I just don't need any of this crap here at all. Uh, it's just so annoying. Kill the TVs in the gym permanently. Um, she said the other one, they have it right in front of the news. Ugh, yeah. Um, and then she asked, uh, tell us more about the fennel seeds in the ground beef, ground turkey, actually, yeah. Um, she gets comments about her lack of seasoning. It's really just a salt and pepper person. <laughs> I've always been, but I'm open to trying new things. So I like, um, when I cook up the ground turkey, I add fennel seeds to it. Um, fennel is like, it's associated with like the, the flavor of sausage. Um, so it just adds a nice little bit of that. It, feel, it, it makes it feel like a turkey sausage kind of thing, which is really cool. Um, when my wife cooks it up for me, and because sometimes I'll be like, uh, she, 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 she's a little extra, which is great. Um, I'll start it and then I'll have to walk away and, and come downstairs and I'll, I'll be like, can you stir that for me in a minute? She'll be like, sure, yeah. And then she starts adding other crap to it, <laughs> which, you know, she knows like not to mess up the macro stuff, but she'll add soy sauce, et cetera, which is always a welcome addition. I just forget to do it half the time. Um, and then uh, one thing that she has encouraged me to do, she doesn't micromanage this because it's just, it's just about letting it go for longer is um, let it brown in the pan to where it like kind of sticks to the bottom of it a little bit and it starts to get like some crunchy charred bits on it. Holy shit, that's magic. I've never done that before just because it feels wrong to like overcook it. But if you overcook a ground turkey or ground beef, like that's kind of when the magic happens. It's so freaking good. It's awesome. Salt and pepper, nothing wrong with that. Um, I just get a little bit more creative and experimental. So like if I'm doing chicken meal prep, the way that I do that is um, I season the hell out of the chicken. Like I make it so you can't see any chicken because of all the seasonings on it. And then you sear that in a cast iron pan and that searing um, kind of creates a crust around the chicken that holds in the juices. Um, so then it, it lasts in the fridge for six days easily and is still edible, which is cool. Um, so you sear it in the pan, flip it, and then stick it in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. It's awesome. But I'll use like garlic powder, um, like a poultry rub. Smoked paprika is a really good thing there. Maybe some Trader Joe's everyday seasoning. Basically, I just look through the spice cabinet. And I'm like, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, and use a lot of that. So good question though. But uh, uh, Allie, I'd say like, 
you know, there's nothing wrong with salt and pepper. There's nothing wrong with eating stuff plain as long as you like it, realistically. It's just, if you do, I'm judging you on a personal level. Like, if anybody who likes to eat plain food, I'm like, that, that seems like a personality flaw. I don't know. Um, so that's where we're at, at 11 weeks out. I thank you all for watching. Um, tune in next week. We'll talk 10 weeks out, and then we're in single digits after that. So, um, again, should be a pretty easy week, not anticipating any issues or anything like that. Um, but uh, excited to see what's in store and see how things look at uh, 10 weeks out. So thanks for hanging in there, everybody. I appreciate it. Leave your comments and questions below. Um, check out 5starphysique.com. Follow me on Instagram at Darren underscore star. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please like, comment the video, blah, 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 blah. Thanks.